Welcome back. Now, it was the seat of one of the Conservatives' most recognisable backbench MPs until Louise Mensch stepped down to spend more time with her family and triggered the first by-election the party has had to defend since the 2010 general election. Voters in the key marginal constituency of Corby go to the polls next week to choose her replacement. Our political correspondent Michael Crick has been out on the campaign trail. It's a seat of two halves. To the west, Corby itself, industrial and labour. The other half, around the town of Oundle, East Northamptonshire, rural and conservative. What's the mix here going to be, a private or social housing? Labour, seeking their first by-election gain in 15 years, are working hard for Andy Sawford. Ed Balls was one of four shadow ministers here today. But they suffered something of an embarrassment last week when their nominee in the North Ants Police Commissioner election to be held the same day was deemed disqualified because of a minor conviction when he was just 19. The third Labour candidate forced out like that in just a few weeks. The law is very clear and the rules have um, got to be applied. And Labour and, supported and our... that law, and yet you failed to check with your candidates. Did we? No, we... Here in, and in Lincolnshire and, I th and I think, Avon well, and Somerset. I think we probably said, Michael, that um, it would be much better not to have these police crime crit and commission elections at all and instead use all the tens of millions of pounds to keep 3,000 police officers on the beat. The Tory, Christine Emmett, joined today by the new childcare minister, Liz Truss, is struggling. Many locals were angry when Louise Mensch suddenly quit, saying she couldn't remain an MP and mother of three young children when her new husband is based in America. Do you not have what any sympathy with, uh, with MPs who, who just can't cope with the pressures of being an MP and looking after well, children? Well, I, I, I have young children myself. I think it is possible to be an MP with young children. I think it's very important that we have those kind of MPs in the House of Commons. Mrs Emmett, whose only child is 17, is a strong Eurosceptic. Indeed, in a debate I chaired at Oundle School last night, she seemed to outbid UKIP. So I would have been one of the rebels last week because I don't think we should pay any more money into Europe and I think we should renegotiate our way out as soon as we possibly can. UKIP didn't fight the general election here because of a cock-up on their nomination form. Margot Parker is dwelling on immigration too, a big concern, especially in the town of Corby itself. There's more foreigners working in Corby than what there is people what live in Corby. And it's the shipping them in. The shipping them in from Leicester um, by the bus load. And it's it's not fair on and you can't get jobs, and no, also the no. agencies are very difficult because they're sidelining um, sort of local Corby people and they're giving those well, job doing the preferences. And UKIP could well beat the Liberal Democrat, Jill Hope. We found her today during her lunch break from keeping up her full-time job. But isn't this a sign of just, it's, it's not a serious Lib Dem campaign, you're, you're just going through the motions. So our candidates have to be unemployed then, do they? No, but uh, candidates normally in these circumstances take time off work. Well, and I'm sure if Jill were able to, she would do, but she has a job and her employers expect her to do it. Frankly, it would be astonishing if Labour doesn't win Corby next week. The interesting question is how much the Conservative vote falls in the light of Louise Mensch's surprise resignation. Michael Crick, Channel 4 News, Corby. And there's a total of 14 candidates for the Corby by-election. Here's the full list. Voting takes place on Thursday, November the 15th.